I found that the hymn tune, How Firm a Foundation, um, is a great balm during this time. Uh, the last Sunday that we celebrated the Eucharist together on March 8th, that was our processional hymn. And with the collect for today, this Saturday, O oh God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. You will find the lovely parallel in the second verse, which, which reads, Fear not, I am with thee, O be not dismayed, for I am thy God and will still give thee aid. I'll strengthen thee, help thee, and cause thee to stand upheld by my righteous, omnipotent hand. Also for this day, the Psalm uh, 51, last five verses, 15 through 20, that's the pointed Psalm for the day. Um, the 16th verse has resounded with me several times after, after looking at this lectionary reading. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. During this time, it, it is a little lonely not to hear all of our voices joining together with the organ and the choir as we sing praises to God. And I do hope during these times ahead through the wonderful aid of technology that we can reflect on previous worship services that we have together. As I said, Psalm 51 is the appointed Psalm for the day. And I would encourage you all to take a listen um, to the service that was on Ash Wednesday. The choir sang a beautiful paraphrase of that psalm penned by Ruth Schramm. Um, you'll find a hyperlink to that service below. I find it very interesting that here we are in the last few days of Lent. We have one more Sunday, and we begin the season of Lent with Psalm 51, and here we are looking at it again. But most, most interesting, I find that Psalm 51 is sort of an extension of the Kyrie, which is our sort of song of praise at the beginning of each liturgy, um, asking God to have mercy on us and to give us strength, um, especially during this time. I hope you all are healthy and well, and I look forward to being together with you again in worship.